Hi, I just want to show you how I prepare my dog's food. As most of you already know, I feed a raw meat diet to my dogs, but I do like to supplement it with some vegetables and some of my dogs also uh, eat cooked rice. Uh, unless it's the dog has a sensitivity to grain, um, then it's meat and vegetables only. Now, vegetables are really good for, for your dog. Um, but what you want to do is either you need to puree it really, really fine if you feed it raw, or you cook it, which is what I do, what, what I prefer to do. Um, dogs don't digest raw vegetables very easily, so it would have to be chopped up fairly fine. So as you can see, I have a combination here of, of sweet potatoes, green beans, carrots, broccoli. I do have some spinach. You can also use squash or pumpkin. <clears throat> Actually, most vegetables are really good for your dogs. Uh, anything that is in season and fresh. And um, uh, you don't have to peel them. You just wash it and you chop it up really small. As you can see, is I, I usually prepare a larger amount anyway. So you um, chop it up really small, put it into a pot. Um, I usually add probably uh, a couple of cups of water, just enough to create enough steam. Uh, put a lid on it, uh, let it cook. And um, once it's done, um, so once the vegetables, vegetables are really soft, that's when we will pre puree it. In addition to um, the vegetables, like I said, I also uh, feed rice. I usually prefer to, to uh, feed brown rice to my dogs there again because of the fiber. But, you know, white rice will do as well. So, as you can see, once the vegetables are cooked and they're nice and soft, what I do is I just use one of these uh, plunge mixer that uh, blends everything. It's just, a, it's just a blender and it actually does a really, really nice job. Um, it chops it all up, fairly small. And, um, um, like I said, you know, usually I, I make a larger amount because I do freeze some of it. Um, so basically, uh, what I will do is, um, that is the time where I would add, for example, the spinach because spinach, it's, you don't have to cook it down to mount to a mash anyways. So I would add some spinach to it. And then, um, I divide it into, uh, muffin tins. I found these, um, at a dollar store that actually have a lid and, uh, I make these little veg vegetable pucks and I put them in the freezer and that way I prepare quite a few in advance. Uh, the nice thing about it is I just take some out as I as I need it. So I'd like to show you how I actually prepare my meals for my dogs. So this is he this here now is the uh, the frozen meat that uh, that I use. Uh, it's a combination of of muscle meat as well as organ meat, uh, bones. Uh, there's boiled eggs in there, and it's uh, there's some fish in there. So it's a really good around food. Um, so what I do is um, I measure out whatever uh, portion I need per dog. I do add the vegetables. Um, if they are still frozen, you know, I, I like to warm them up sometimes and just in the microwave. So it's, it's, it's a warm food. As you can see, I've also added uh, some fruit. Some of them I will add some rice. Um, fruit, you can use anything from blueberries to cranberries to apples or pears or anything that your dog might like. And as you can see, in addition, I also add a little bit of fresh parsley. Um, it is kind of, it is pureed uh, parsley. I, I usually make a container full and I keep it in the fridge and I always add, add some. You want to keep that fresh. It's a really good source of vitamin C. And in addition, um, it helps with dog breath because it's chlorophyll. Um, so once you kind of mix it up, um, just let your dog have it and they will enjoy it.